In this video, we are going to see basic Unix commands. For that, I have created one notepad file over here. So, in this notepad, you can see 22 commands are there. So, we are going to see this one practically. For that, I have one Unix machine over here. So, let me clear this. And let's start with the first command ls. So, ls, you can see that it is listing all the files present inside of the directory. So, I'm into this slash tmp directory okay so if you see this is the 22nd command pwd to check the present working directory in unix it is very important to know uh, we are operating it from which directory okay that's why this command is important so if i press cd then it will take me to the home directory of the root user i have logged into this system with the username root so slash is the uh, root home directory then if I want to change the directory to slash etc, I'll be able to do that and then you can see that pwd. If I press ls, again all the files will be listed and to get details of that, ls-ltr, we can try, okay, and it will give the complete output about that. Then in Unix, useful command is the man. If I use the man command, it is to read the manual page of the command, so errpt. For example, I am using the AIX machine, so it is the manual page of the ERRPT command. So in a manual, we get the purpose of the command, then how to use that command, so we get the syntax of it. This, um, it shows the description of the command also. Flags, usage of the flags. And it shows the example also, how to use that command actually, with different different flags. Then, let's create one file. Let's create the file by using the touch command. So I'm into the slash etc directory. Let's go to the home directory of the root. I want to create a file over here. Okay, with name f1. By using this command, I can create multiple files also like f2, f3, f4, f5. It will create blank files ls you can see that f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 these commands are there then if i use rm f5 it will delete the file i'll show you the output you can see that it is deleted here it was there after firing rm it is deleted successfully now we have f1 f2 f3 f4 over here okay so let me write something inside of the f1 so to write or to edit file vi f1 vi editor is the tool to write into this press i and uh, type anything like welcome to goals enjoy your study time visit www.goalsinfocloud.com very good YouTube tutorial and then save this file by pressing escape colon wq and exclamation okay so to read this file cat f1 you can see that uh, welcome to goals enjoy your study time visit www.goalsinfocloud.com and very good YouTube tutorial then now if i press cat f f2 there is nothing in f3 also it is a blank file and f4 it is also a blank file so i'll uh, edit this f2 to show you the how to uh, do the append and overwrite of the file so vi f2 and let's say i want to learn unix in depth also would like to learn AIX technology and save this file okay great so cat f2 you can see that I want to learn Unix in depth and also would like to learn AIX technology okay and cat f1 we have Welcome to goals. Enjoy your study time. Very good YouTube tutorial. Okay. Now in F3, 
it is a blank file okay so what i'll do i'll cat f1 and then f3 what it will do it will send all the output of f1 to f3 so cat f3 you can see that welcome to goals okay so uh, this is written into the f3 then if i fire cat f2 and colon colon then f3 it will append the file okay so cat f3 you can see the output that uh, welcome to goals enjoy your study time very good youtube tutorial and then i want to learn unix in depth and also would like to learn the ax technology so after uh, finishing this tutorial it has appended the output over here okay then if i uh, fire the command cat f4 f4 is a blank file then two times greater than sign and f3 now let's see the result cat f3 so there is nothing to happen in the f4 but if i use cat f4 f3 let's say the output so f3 is overwritten by f4 so it is a blank file now so this way this um, append and the overwrite works let's create the directory we are into home directory of root so to create new directory mkdir let's say directory name is goals so i have created goals directory successfully cd goals so i'm into this directory if i fire the pwd it should show slash goals you can see that slash goals is there then to remove a directory first of all i have to come out of this directory and then rmdir goals okay it is removed successfully if i file cd goals again you can see that it is not found because i have deleted that one okay then let's see the uh, more command and less command how does it work so for that uh, well in aix to see the errors errpt is the command but if i fire this one it will show me the last line directly of that file so to read the errors page wise errpt pipe what pipe does actually it redirects the output of the first command to the next command and then more so to see the page wise output enter so i can read the output page wise same thing happens with the less command errpt pipe less okay let's see the uh, head command and tail command uh, head then uh, slash etc slash security slash limits so it will show only first 10 lines of this file okay if i use the tell command on the same file slash etc slash security slash limits so it will show me the last 10 lines of the file okay so if you want to read first 15 lines you can use this head hyphen 15 and the location of a file so i'll copy this now you can see that it is showing 15 lines over here okay i'll use this uh, word count command on the same file so you can see that uh, 70 lines are there 249 words are there and 1430 characters are there so this way we use this word count uh, command if you want to see the background processes running in the unix technology ps hyphen ef command will be helpful i will use pipe more to see the page wise output so uh, these are uh, you can see that uid pid that is process id then parent process id so all these ids are there if you want to kill anything you should uh, get the pid over here for the process and then you can kill that one then cp command and mv command is there we'll use this one again cd slash we'll use this uh, cp and mv command so cp f2 f3 cat f3 i want to learn unix in depth also would like to learn ax technology so what we have done we have copied the content of f2 to f3 
that's why cat is showing this output then mv f3 f5 so what i have done here actually i have renamed the file okay so if i press ls here you can see that uh, f3 is not present f5 is present so this way we can rename the file okay and if you want to move the file from one location to another location same command will be helpful for you okay and then uh, to use the kill command kill hyphen 9 and the process id pid you have to give over here okay so it will kill the process so i have not specified any identifier over here so from the ps hyphen ef you can get that one and you can fire this command Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel to get up to get more video updates. To get more video updates. Thank you.